Hi everyone, it's the kids that's out here. How you doing? Welcome back to Let's Play of Dragon Quest Land of Pants. Last time, we introduced the game. This time, we're gonna start the game by creating a new adventure log. Wow, I didn't realize you can have like nine slots. <laughs> I'm gonna enter our name. Now, you can see a few things here. First off, the Korean quest. Um, these are like hard mode things that you can put on. You can put on things like, you're not allowed to shop. You're not allowed to equip any armor. You get less XP. All enemies are strong, super strong. You get, basically, um, you and your party can basically just miss a turn. Uh, townsfolk basically don't like tell lies and if you if the protagonist dies the party is dead so yeah they're super hard food things i think there's actually like a youtuber that's actually trying all of these on at the same time which is absolutely insanity i am not doing that <laughs> i am not doing that um so i would enter a name i normally i would go with my own name but um there's a problem the problem is well as usual, this game does not really invoke, um, like, if you have a, a name that ends with an S, you have an apostrophe after it whenever you level up. So, I'm actually going to go with default. I'm going to go with uh, 11, because usually Dragon Quest games names hero, like, in terms of, um, canonizing it is the number of uh, Dragon Quest stories. So for example, Dragon Quest 8 hero would be called 8. But um, but yeah, that's what, that's what we're going to do. I know people are probably going to be like, oh, you should probably just be like uh, GMs, but no. We're, we're going to stick with 11. That's a decent game as well. Let's go with 11. And we are going to be mainly, we're going to be fully sticking to 3D mode. 2D mode is a really cool idea, but I love 3D mode. Like, come on, this game looks absolutely gorgeous. Like, don't get me wrong, I love 2D stuff, but 3D will be all the way here in this playthrough. But you can change it at any point, which is really, really cool. Um, yeah, so we're going to stick with English. Uh, we're going to have... Auto, ca auto camera. Uh, that seems right enough. Now to make fun of British accents, even though I am technically British. Didn't you hear that it was just rain suddenly? This child... He is the one? There's the mark. There's no mistaking it.
not some kids. What are you doing here? And after that awful storm, too. However did you survive? Oh, you're a jolly one. What's this? Oh, you poor thing. Come here. Come here. Oh, there's no need to be frightened anymore. You're safe now, little fellow. Several years later. Thanks so much, you're a lifesaver. Trust me to lose my headscarf just before the big ceremony. Headscarf. Uh, we will be playing, well, we'll turtle gold auto play. Yes, turtle auto. <sighs> So it's finally here, the big day. I can't believe we're going to be climbing all the way up there. Yes, I know I am making fun of British accents, even though I am British. Shush. Be quiet. It's fine. <laughs> Looks like Sandy's keen to lead the way. Come on, best not keep her waiting. <laughs> All right, uh, this is the game. Uh, first things first, uh, we do have DLC that we get because we're awesome. I can't remember where that is. Is it? it? So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, system settings. Oh, here it is. We're going to claim all special rewards, because we can. So if the Trudian set, you get a Dragon Quest VIII music. Yes, we're going to have Symphonic on. You can pick Synthesized if you really want. Why would you want this? I don't know why you'd want this. 
Um, autoplay cutscenes, the protagonist's voice, which is just like, you just hear him grunting whenever he jumps and stuff like that. Uh, we have that. Oh, battle mode, yes. We're gonna have classic camera because I feel it's just better than freeform fighting. Freeform fighting is you basically can control the characters. It doesn't do anything though, controlling characters, so I prefer just classic camera. Alright, so with that done. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna equip the great sword because I like the great sword, and we're gonna equip the uh, extra HP vest because it's more HP. You know the mayor and your mother are waiting to see you off. Uh, you're spitting. Please stop spitting. I, I, I don't want to read, but I also don't want to read because I, 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 if I read continuously, she's going to stop spitting. Uh, she, talk, she talks about. Okay. I, I, okay. First little instance of a uh, character uh, there. Oh, I've been seeing you with your children all set for your big day and you can try to say both as mayor and as grandfather. You're not kids anymore, you know? No, you're well, not dying, that means we look forward to offering your thanks. Alright, it's time you're on your way, head up to the top, you can praise the spirit of the land, then come back down and tell us how you like to you. Well, we ever sure to do next, press say yes, but party talk to everybody, right. this is just little tips for you. Yes, that is actually a good advice. You can pick party talk at any point. <laughs> and uh, basically, you... she says exactly the same thing as she said when we talked there. Just like the eleven, my little boy, all grown up. Are you sure to look after Jimmy here? I think you've been in several years of tiny. Here you are, about to fly the tour together. I remember you right as well as Sadie, as well as who's more sensitive than any of us. Off you go, right dear. Good to you, just fine. Oh, yeah, we'll just suffer with you when you get back. I want supper. Even though it's technically 5 a.m. when I'm recording this, but shush. Be quiet. Folk of Cobblestone, great land spirits, hearth and home. That's how it goes, isn't it? My granddad's been teaching me the prayer ever since I was little. He reckons the spirit of the land really does live on Cobblestone Tour, you see. As long as I can remember, he's been preparing me for this day. The day it would finally be my turn to climb all the way up there and offer my thanks. I just wonder whose idea it was in the first place, sending the village's young folk on such a dangerous errand. What if I take a tumble and do myself a mischief? Do myself a mischief? Well, I can't, I can't Since not make fun of it. Same day, <laughs> I'm lucky enough to have a bodyguard along for the journey. Come on then, that craggy old thing won't climb its... Oh! They're just slimes. But we are just level one, so we can deal with slimes, can't we? We can, can't we? So this game is turn based. Yay, back to turn based. And we only really have attack right now, so we just attack them. They're attacking the dog. Don't attack the dog. But don't attack me either. And yes, Sandy can't attack. Oh, thanks for. MP, I guess. And Sandy can also bark, which you makes them uh, paralyzed. Phew. And sometimes you get a treasure chest, just like that. Crikey, I wasn't expecting that. 
I know they were only little, but I'd have been done for if you and Sandy hadn't been here to help me. Only little? I, I can't. I can't not make fun of it. And now it's impossible for me not to do it. Dingy cave. Just our luck. I'll bet you anything that's where those awful things came from. Well, as long as you're with me, I've got nothing to worry about. Come on, let's get going. Alright, so now we can move on. First off, there's a treasure chest back here. And we get a pot lid that uh, basically is a shield. So yeah, as you noticed uh, at the start, the hero could equip two swords. I, I know it's not possible right now. So yes, yeah, so there's a big sword which has a 1% power chance. So anytime you're attacked physically, I think, you have a that percent chance of powering it and that does like no damage at all to it, to you. Now there is a also a block chance which is higher. I can't remember what the difference between blocking and powering is. I, I think blocking I, I think blocking somewhat negates it. I can't remember specifically the, the difference between blocking and powering. But uh, I prefer the great sword just because I think powering does negate the damage totally, whereas blocking does not. I can't remember precisely. Also, for the hero block, uh, like for the hero, great swords is probably better for him rather than a single sword and shield. I'm going to try and stick to like different weapons for each of the characters. There's only going to be two characters that are going to have the same weapons, but because they're both mages. That's, uh, yeah. I, I te Technically, I could have a different weapon for one of them, but it just doesn't make sense for them. So we're going to stick to that. First off, we go up here and we see a glowing spot. Glowing spots um, are things that you see in dungeons, and they respawn. So you can actually grind items in this game. Monsters, I don't think it's got you yet. You should sneak up and try and surprise them. So yes, yeah, so you can get preemptive strikes, get close to the monster, and you can hit them, lowering your HP before battles even begun. So you can see I did one damage to it before the battles even begun. That's pretty good. Run! can do it! Tough little blighters, aren't they? I can't... I can't not laugh at it. It's so funny. It's so stupid. You know what a bad way is? This is dumb that... Why is she British? Uh, I love Jebba. Like, how can you not love Jebba? How can you not love her? And we level up, and we learn Frizz, our first spell. And this game does fully totally heal you when you level up. That is good to know. Tough little blighters, aren't they? So for the meantime, we just follow Sandy here. 
I'm gonna try and fight most battles because we need the XP. Well, we're fighting most battles, not all battles, because sometimes they do respawn. But uh, we want to get down here first. And there are pots. You know what we do with pots? Smash them. Do you? I didn't mean to talk to you, Gemma. We did get a medicinal herb and five gold coins. Uh, that's actually a good point of items. Items are weird in this game. You actually have to transfer them into your item bag before you can use them. This is something that I continually forget to do. So uh, remind me. <laughs> remind me in the comments to set my items because you cannot use items without them being in your bag. I think you can use... hold on. Now I want to check. I get into a battle and see if I can use them about and we get an, a couple of herbs. We do get achievements in this game. They don't do anything, but we get them. Yeah, let's go to you, I think. Like. <laughs> yeah, so you can't. So they have to be in your person. They, you can't go to your bag. So that's something you do have to be aware of. You can do it. Go on. <laughs> and something I continually will forget is that specific port, port point. <laughs> Do you think? I mean, it's fog. Fogs are usually normal, right? Help! Help me! <gasps> what? Cole? Ah, 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 quick! You have to help him! <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> Not fog at all. It's more monsters. Watch out. All right, so we have our first boss fight. These are against smogs. These things hit hard, and they also have pretty high evasion because they're fog. So as you can see, we've missed twice, sadly missed as well, so this is where our, our fire spell comes into handy. Say, should be fine, but hmm. Here you go. <sighs> yeah, she has infinite medicinal herbs and infinite single vials. <laughs> but we got it. Phew. Well done. And we level up again because we got. A bunch of experience for that. I 
I'm sorry, Gemma. I only came up here because I thought it'd be funny to jump out and surprise you. But then those monsters appeared. What in the world is going on? I never heard anything about monsters appearing on the tour before. But never mind that now. Whatever were you thinking? You could have been killed. You take Sandy and get back to the village this instant. Y yes, Gemma. Sorry, Gemma. <sighs> You saved my bacon again. <laughs> I knew you were tough, but crikey, you really have grown into quite the hero. Not far to the top now. Oh, typical. It would have to go and start raining, wouldn't it? Come on, let's get a move on. Alright, so that done. Um, oh, we did get fully healed because we leveled up, of course. There's a sparkly spot here. It's a pink pine. Just climb these vines. To, just these vines to climb. You'll be near there. Don't lose your grip. Yeah, I would not want to. Um... I would not want to climb this. I would be like, no. But you can climb these bigger cliff faces by pressing A on them. I am playing those on the Switch version, but this this applies to the PlayStation version as well. I think you just press X instead of A. Yeah, so the reason I'm playing this on the Switch is because this game originally came out on the Switch, so that's the reason why I'm playing it on Switch. And head up here. Here we are at last. Here we are. I, I, I can't help it. I'm sorry. It's such a shame about the weather. I was really looking forward to that view. Oh well. well. We better say the prayer and get this ceremony over with, eh? What, what was that? We're alive. But how? That, that great big flash of lightning. It was almost like you made it happen. Yeah, Dad. <sighs> Look, the mark on your hand. Oh, it stopped. Well, we can worry about that later. All I know is that you saved me yet again. I don't know what I'd do without you. Now, we really had better be finishing up this ceremony. Humble folk of Cobblestone, great land spirits hearth and home. Lift your voices up in prayer. Sing it across all our drear. 
Blessed are we since days of yore. Let it be so forevermore. It just goes on and on and on. Whoever dreamed up this ceremony must have had this in mind. They wanted to show us how huge our world really is. <laughs> well, that's it. It's all over and now we're grown-ups. Should we head down and tell Grandad and everyone? They'll all be waiting for us at the bottom. Alright, so with that, uh, there's a large sparkly spot up here. And we head back down. Sorry, Diana. I thought you were coming to jump with surprise you. I'm an idiot. I'll never do it again, I promise. Uh huh. I see us to the map being on the right hand side, I don't know why. The map's on the left. <laughs> Games. We're back safe and sound, Grandad. Indeed you are, my dear. Thank the spirits for that. When we saw lightning striking up there, we got a little worried, I have to tell you. <laughs> well, I never. Sounds like it's nothing short of a miracle that you made it back in one piece. Well, there's no doubt about it, the spirit of the land was watching over you. Now tell me, my dear, how was the view from the top? Oh, it was wonderful. I saw the sea stretch into the horizon, and the sunlight playing on the water, and... Oh, I've never seen anything like it in my life. <laughs> You're true cobblestonians now. Only we have the pleasure of looking out over the world of Erdria in such breathtaking fashion, you know. You're still young, and the day may yet come when you decide to leave cobblestone behind. I hope our little ceremony has opened your eyes to a little of what may await you out there. <laughs> now. It's high time we were heading back. I'm sure your mother is eager to hear how things went, young man. Don't keep poor Amber in suspense. Come on, you. Home time. So yes, this game does have little tip, loading screen tips as well. Pretty handy. Now let's begin another achievement. Alright, 
So, uh, we're actually going to end this episode right here. So, next time in Dragon Quest XI S. As a, a, before we go, actually, I will show you how you see if You can only see if in churches. Like in any other Dragon Quest game. And we have a bunch of options, actually. So we have Confession, we have Divination, which tells you how much XP you need for the next level. Resurrection for, um... What is it again? Yeah, Resurrection brings fully part party members back to life at a cost. Shares of the poison party members at a cost. And removes any curses at a cost. And you can pick play a duty mode if you really want to do that. Yeah. If you enjoyed this episode of Dragon Quest XI S, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like, don't forget to get informed, become part of my community, wish for fun positively for all, and of course, see you again.